Oh, there that's where they belong. An ornamental metallic object with an elder sign. A sign used for protection from previous entities. Carved on one of its faces. That's a crazy ass back. Alright, alright. So I in the middle and we got all that shit around. Dancing man to the right. Geely down at the bottom. Vivi in the top right. A bird in the well, top left and a bird in top right. And then crazy contraption on the left. Alright. I mean, I don't have to remember that, but... Huh. I didn't even think to use my fucking flashlight. So it was in the fourth one in the end anyways. Alright. So opening this was useless. Alright. Oh. Wait, what? Something happened. Felt like something happened. Something's gonna happen. Oh, even more. Okay, no, these are the real depictions. Set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here. Matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Yeah, that's cool. I dig it. That's weird. How the texture just stops and it's something else completely. Okay. I copied down the glyphs. Oh, why thank you. I've seen a vision near the rock tab in a place that looks somewhat like an ancient burial ground. There was a diagram consisting of several glyphs covered on the rock's polished surface. And one glyph in particular was mentioned by the silhouette that appeared in the vision. I've copied down the diagram and mocked that glyph. Uh-huh. That one. Alright. These are completely different than what I was reading before. But I'm gonna assume it's not the things that I got. I mean, I could always check, right? Yeah. Hmm. My flashlight's too bright and I can't turn it off. Wait, wait. These are the same as the ones on to the right. No way. Yeah, none of these look like the ones I was reading. But they definitely look like these ones. Fuck, so this is the one I gotta remember. Not the fucking tablet that I had in my hand, son of a bitch. Alright, something in the bottom, I think in the bottom right. Fucking walls in the fucking right. Wouldn't even know what the hell can to depict that as. And pie. Alright. Pie's at the top. Sorry, buddy. Too bad I can't close it back on him. Oh, there's more graves to desecrate. Sweet. I love Grave Robin. What a fun thing to do in the fucking catacombs. In some freaking ancient caverns. With ancient beings. Let's just fucking disrespect them right in front of their faces. I'm sure nothing ill will come of that. Alright, nothing here at all. Is there a fourth one here as well? Like on the opposite end. Nope. So, I got the right one already, but they still have all of these to open. Alright, cool. Alright, so I think I'm done with the middle section. I can go back into the outer part. <laughs> Giant butt plugs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does something? I didn't think it would do anything at all. Until I get this right. Alright, so pie is at top. This was in the bottom left. I believe this was over here. The eye in the bottom right. And the weird contraption in the top left. Did I get that right, game? Or do I need to spin these? Huh. There's a good chance this might be upside down. Because all the symbols are kind of upside down. Hmm. Is there anything that's upside down? Does this spin this by any chance? That was longer sounding. 
Yeah, okay, I got it right. Sweet. Memory, baby. They didn't even have to do a second look. Okay. Now let's look at this again. One more time. No, no, they're still, like, flipped around. But, mm, I got it right. Nice. Good memory. Then again, I'm not stoned, so my brain's in full power right now. Nor have I been for the past few days. Fucking Thanos over here. Oh! I have a face. Don't look. He's gonna look back. Don't touch. He'll touch back. Mm hmm, they're die. Oh fuck, that actually reminds me of, yeah, an H.P. Lovecraft movie I watched. Where these guys were focusing on the pineal gland. Wait, I wonder if this is fucking based on the same story. Where the pineal gland like freaking kind of takes over the body. Like this bump on the guy's head just keeps growing until it becomes some weird like contraption that pops out of his head. Huh. For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to talk to me. No, that was me. That was me talking. Huh, what if the, the movie I saw was based on the same story that this game is based on? Yeah, I gotta get back into watching H.P. Lovecraft movies. It's just hard to find good ones. There's one director that's done a really good job with them, though. I'm gonna try to watch all his uh, H.P. version, H.P. movies. I forgot what the director's name was. Steven something, I think. I think it was Steve. Don't know what the last name was. Last name was not something. Frank, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Well, oh, clearest you've been yes, whole game. I can hear you. Finally, it seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out, so I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen, I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering, but you must see the Use one of your submarines and follow the light. Use one of the submarines. Come on, please. Where are you? is lost. He said I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? You know, give me back control game. All right, great. Small version of the gigantic statue I saw before. It is beautifully carved out of the metal I can't identify. Additionally, it looks like it was made true to the minute details of the bigger one. Maybe it's the same one. Trophy item. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh? Did I hear that right? Alright. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, those things come to life. Well, that sucks. Those are wings. I thought those were fins. It is possible to assume that, due to the volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't know exactly where this is the case. That theory somehow explains this nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along with that cryptic stone wall that welcomes you when entering via the round gate. As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating that true motives of the carvers are the of these inconceivably old caverns. All I'm sure is of is this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil here firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation. I cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal man has hitherto perceived. Again. Is there anything I'm going to find on here? I already got one of these. I guess the game really wants to make sure I got it. 
by giving me so many of them. Ah, were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This was the main topic of debate of last night's meeting, and what Dr. Foss hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather-bound book, was too frightening, at least for the ones who can understand the underlying links. The megalithic creep statues, ornate standing stones, and the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think that the place could be religious temple complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days, for now it lies in ruins, bare without any sign of underwater fauna or flora. Yep, tons of these. I'm always expecting, like, there to be a hole at the top. Oh, is that just a new flashlight for myself? I like this one better, it's not as big and bulky. But we're not going to take it for some reason. We finished tweaking the submarine one last time. And again, they are ready enough for the next uncertain voyage ahead. This time we will also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for the later expeditions. In a short while, all members of the primary underwater exploration party led by Dr. James Barlow will head for the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical entrance to the legendary netherworld. But again, I wonder whether we are looking for something that is not to be found. After all, I've experienced, read and studied here. After all the sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, what lies below and how to reach a certain state to see where, see more without eyes. Even I cannot help but think this journey may easily lead straight to hell, but we have to go through it all in such advances. See Morgan Blake. I don't want to see him. Did I miss anything? No, I guess we're taking the submarine out of here. Huh. I wonder if it's going to be a point of no return. Because if it is, there's that radio that I never, like, got working properly. Damn. Where the hell are we going? Would you like to get onto the submarine? No. There's unfinished business, man. Hmm. I wonder how one would... I wonder if that's, like, a secret, getting that radio to work. Alright, let's just keep going forward. Got half an hour before I decide whether or not I want to do one more hour. Like, it's supposed to be a relatively short game, but I have no idea how close I am to that. Oh, am I moving? Myself. Really? Well, wow, this is fun. Uh, highly maneuverable, compact exploration submarine. Follow the lights, of course. Thank you for reminding me, game. Okay, I don't like any of those. I hope I don't have to remember any of those fucking numbers. Did I turn off my own light by any chance? Move forward, backwards, ascend, and shift. Well, there's the lights. Wait, that's where I started from, though, no? No, no, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, everything seems fine, I guess. I guess I could read that thing again to see what those depict. I wonder if there's any conditions I need to be aware of. Okay, so... Controls to descend. There we go. And we're on our way. Wait. Oh, I can only do one at a time? I can't. Yeah, I can move forward and descend at the same time. We are golden, boys. Golden. Alright. Always gotta check out where the second light is. There it is. Oh, we're doing caves. Oh, we're going further into some ruins. Nice. Creepy and nice at the same time. I really hope at this point there's no fucking backtracking. Ah. I do not see where the other one is. The next light. Let's go lower. Yeah, okay, there it is. I mean, I kind of want to race the surface to see what's around. It looks like a lot of things here, but I guess I couldn't possibly interact with everything. I guess it's all just for show. Nice aesthetics. 
Uh, I don't think I can go through. Never mind. Gotcha, you, motherfucker. I don't think there's damage in this game either. Are we gonna grab that? No? I'm just gonna ignore it? Jeez, no, no. Wait, oh, shift. God damn, I was holding space the whole time to go up. Shift. Oh, you can crash. All right, now we know. One can damage themselves, and once again, I'm holding space instead of shift. Well, now we know. God damn it, and I was smooth sailing the whole entire time, too. I see, so once this thing starts going forward, it's hard to pull back. Oh, I just realized the UI disappeared too. That's nice. So you can explore more of the scenery and enjoy more of the scenery. Ooh, this is big. I wonder if there's anything actually like this in our world. So many, like, tons of underground pyramids. I wonder if there's any underground catacombs or rooms, underwater rooms like this. Ah, uh, that looks like goop. That doesn't look natural. Alright, I think, wait. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I think we're almost there. Right on cue. Nice. Yeah, let's not go further anymore. I think we're good. I think we figured out everything we needed to figure out. What's that supposed to mean? Temperature? We don't know what you do about that game. I mean, maybe I should keep looking forward. I just, I feel safe. I can't look backwards. I have no idea what's behind me. I'm surprised this game didn't have a zoom up feature to just like zoom in on everything with the amount of high quality uh, texture work that they're putting into the game. Like I want to, I want to get a closer look at that steering wheel. It looks beautiful. No! 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 Did I fail? I mean, that looked like a death to me. Everything got red, got crushed. Nope. It was meant to be. Oh, shit. And I'm back in the ship. Or is this a memory? What the fuck? And what? Was I supposed to go back? What happens if I went down the hall instead? Uh, Alright, so you can die in here? this. That's good. When? Lots to explore now. To other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. 
I'm getting mixed signals yes, here. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. It looks like this fiendish netherworld <laughs> depends on some kind of... He changed his tone greatly. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, not again. This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. Repeating texture. Alright, so there's a lot of ways to go now. Hey, it's me again. You wanna talk? Oh, this is the same place, isn't it? No? It's not. Not the same place. Just has to just have the same mirror. Cool. Alright, well kinda of, oh man, there's a lot of things to look at here. Stonework seems weak. Well, guess what? We happen to have this. Look at that. Finally. Can I always swing it? No, you can't always swing it. It has to be specifically on the spot. That's funny. This wall seems weak. I think I can tear it down with some effort. Dude, that's what we're doing. Why'd you put your weapon away? I can do that to the mirror. We have found a secret. Is it really though? Ooh, pretty. I guess. An ornamental object with a metal metallic part engraved with a sandstone rock depicting an elder thing figure in the center. Cool. Trophy items. Oh. Okay. Cool. Mm hmm Cthulhu. Alright, that one was fun. Let me look at some more objects. Wait, is there anything in the bottom? Oh god! Oh my lord! Wow! Like, seriously, why let the player do this if you're not gonna fucking clean it up? I'm sorry, I don't mean to bitch about this. Like, the dev- the graphic artists have done a great job with this game. But why? Why put this in there? Why let this be in there? That is texture stretching and fucking, uh, texture seam. Basically what happened is this guy did not unwrap this properly. The UVs. It'd be funny if one of the devs came in and saw me bitching about this at the same time. I always think about that every once in a while. Like, what if one of the devs comes in at one point and I'm bitching about these things? At least I hope they see what I'm seeing. I know it's not game breaking, it's a little bit immersion breaking, but as an artist it's just like, really? Really? You're gonna let this pass? What the fuck? The odds that I happen to look at the back and find the most hideous things. Like, the rest of it is good. Look at this, clean as hell. I can't even- I can barely see where the texture seam is. This is really well done, this one. Oh, I need a clip of that. That is so bad. Yeah, these are done really well. Like, this one has a little, like, artifacting right there. But, 
Otherwise, they're all really well done. And then you get this one. This one specific one, and it's just like... What happened here? <laughs> what is this? The texture doesn't even match at the top. This, this is what I've been looking for in these games all this whole time. The perfect example. Now everyone who looks at that, I'm gonna have to get a clip of that so everyone can understand what I mean by texture seams and bad UV unwrapping. That isn't, well, bad, un UV, bad UV unwrapping is not in every game, but texture seams will always be there. And this is like a crazy ass example. That is so fucked up. Like, why let the player look at it? Did the devs not look at that themselves? I mean, I get there's a lot of objects in the game and they can't be like looking at everything, but it goes through someone before it becomes a final asset. Before it gets into the game, it goes through someone and that person's looking at it. Not just one person that's looking at it, but there's a second person who puts it in the game as well. Could it be the same person sometimes? Sometimes, but usually not. Usually the artist hands it off to someone else, and they put it in. Even at times, someone else could be unwrapping someone else's 3D objects. I don't know how many people they have on their staff, and how many things they pass down. So they could have gone like through four people, and they didn't notice it. I can't select it anymore. I can't use my items? Examine trophy items. Trophy items are cool. The fuck just happened here? Weird, I can't pull out any of my weapons. Why? But I want it. I want to pull it out. Hmm, weird. Let me do it on that wall. Alright, so... I came in from here. There was that there. I'm gonna stay on the bottom level before I start going up or down. This obelisk is dead. How can an obelisk be dead? These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Oh, it looks like we need a torch to light it up. This obelisk is dead. Can I grab this fire by any chance? I mean, it's like the plant is like so close to the freaking fire. Touch it. Burn it. Big area. It's just the other side of that. Okay. Wow, this is a big area. Alright. I wonder what's above then. Shit. Looks like something's missing here. I can do something similar to this. Into the staff. I need something that can fit. These ivy like plants are blocking the way. Yeah, blocking the way all over the place. I see. There's supposed to be a gem inside it. There's a lot of crystals like on the ground. Can't they just chop them up? Oh, now I can pull it out. Weird. Looks like something's missing here. Alright, whatever. Alright. Can I just, like, chop this, I wonder? No? I mean, if he needs a blue, blue crystal, it's, like, right there. Let me, let me chop it up. Let me show you the way. No. Alright, now that I have my axe out, can I keep it out when I'm in this area? Or does, like, items just automatically disappear when I get here? Yeah, he pu puts his axe away as soon as I get here. That's a no-item area. Oh, 
Mummies. Um. <laughs> cool. Nothing in there. Nothing here. This game would probably make a really great VR game, if anything. Alright, so that happened. And it also needs a crystal. Looks like something's missing here. Now we know what we need to do. I wonder if it's gonna be like one of those you gotta reuse the crystal twice or take it out of the wall and put it here, take it out of here, put it in the wall. Hey shit. Look at that. First Pokemon ever was in this place. It's the Helix. Alright. So I guess I'm gonna go up now. Like, it makes sense to just be able to chop these up. It's like, we need the crystal, we know that. We've seen it. But yeah, I see what I need to do with that one. Put the crystal in there, then make it go back up to the sky. Maybe it'll beam some light in a bunch of different random directions. Something like that. Nothing here, though. That's kind of weird. At this sacrificial podium. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait. This. Wait, no, that's what I broke right with my axe. Yeah, that's where the terrible texture seam is. So let's go up. The one place I avoided this whole entire time. Oh, are we at another lighthouse, maybe? Oh. As I predicted, a race. Reptilian in physiology lived inside these ruins after the original builders. The elder things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence, and the other relief with four tall figures. I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Oh. Huh. Golems. We've seen the same vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. All right, cool. Fucking aliens over here. Pretty badass looking dudes. Alright, let's go steal some stuff. This obelisk is dead. I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. Oh. Well, come on now. Don't be such a complainer. Because of that one piece of ice that's left. Really? You son of a bitch. No? Okay, it's not supposed to be here. I need to uh, turn it. Them. Oh, fuck. I can barely see it. Are you kidding me? They couldn't have choose, chosen a different light or like different UI symbol. I can barely see that there was a turning symbol here. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Ah, let's go to that thing down below where the crystal's supposed to be. Only one? Okay, all of them. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm from a place high enough for me to see a white vista before me. But the snowstorm is completely covering the view. Alright. 
I don't know exactly what that's gonna do other than shine light in that room below. So I need those blue crystal objects. Well, I guess there's a whole bunch of obelisks lit up as well. Maybe check out what's happening in those areas. Did all the ivy plants leave? Yeah, all the ivy plants left. So I'm gonna assume there's a crystal down here for me to grab. Or some other kind of contraption. Oh, no, never mind, there it is. Found you. Cool. Even though there's all these blue crystals around, apparently it wasn't a blue crystal I was looking for this whole time. I'm gonna put it in this one first. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to charge it. That's why it goes into this room first. It gets charged. Once it's charged by the light, which maybe turns it blue, I go and put it into the door at the end. The crystal I have doesn't fit here. Ooh, wow. Insulted. Game just threw it in my face. I guess that's not what we're doing. I thought that would have been cool and clever. Charge the crystal and then put it back. The crystal I have doesn't fit here. All right, all right, you biatch. God dang it! I was on to something there. I guess you just shove it right in without doing anything extra. Weird. Hey, it's blue now. Now I put it in? No. Okay. There's just more to go. Nice. Cool. Oh, here we go again. Headaches. Alright, I'm probably gonna go one more hour with this game. See ya. Oh. Ho, hi ho. Off to work we go. Let's follow them. No. We got shit to check out first. Nothing around here. No. Aha. Should be automatic by now. Come on. You're not you're not fooling anyone. You are not fooling nobody. Hi, how are you? Can I borrow that for a second? No? Alright, you look cool with it anyway. Just pretend I was never here. So weird. No interaction or anything of any sort. Weird. Skull looks strangely low texture, low polygon compared to everything else. Texture is a little interesting. Bit of artifacting on the nose. <laughs> I'm just being such a critical ass to these guys' arts assets. Ooh, this one's got a fucking crown. Take it. A feathered mask. I took it from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of color that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think how flamboyant it must have been. What the hell? Why are you judging? Not how flamboyant it must have been, how badass it must have been to be one of the dudes walking around with those. No, no, no. Oh, this thing seems to keep going. I thought this was a secret area. No, no, don't, don't, don't block off where I came from, please. Alright, it's not. Alright, there was another way to go. I kind of want to check that out first before I settle on going this long way down. Like, where did those lizards go? Yeah, we got some shit to see over here. The same Syllabin. symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. That's it. Alright. This is going to be interesting to figure out. Ah, there's symbols. The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. I don't remember this symbol. Uh, 
That glyph doesn't ring any bells. All right. The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. I don't remember this symbol. Am I supposed to, I'm supposed to go somewhere else before you can start remembering what all these are. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. No, no, they wouldn't, would they? Is there anything that I might have seen before? Yeah, these ones. This one I've seen before. I don't remember this symbol. That's crazy, because I do. We solved a puzzle with it. Hmm. Yes. This symbol is exactly the same. With okay, the maybe I meant this one. Vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. We literally use that to open a thing. What do you mean you remember in a vision? That glyph doesn't ring any bells. Hmm. I don't remember this symbol. Okay, he had a lot to say about this though. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, so I put this in that big thing, maybe? I guess that's it. That was a good thing I came here first before the rest. So that room kept getting bigger and bigger wherever the hell I was going. Yeah, can't look at it anymore. Alright. So one could just spam looking at every single one to get it right. I don't want to go back with this crystal now. See if I can put in that big slot. The fuck? Crazy looking faces. Oh! This dude freaks me out. From some of the bass reliefs explored in the seemingly oldest structure which had been wedded into shapeless ruins ages ago, we learned that these reptilian creatures were the inhabitants of this eon-dead city. But while some of them were enshrouded in special coffins, these are standing still, glued to their vertical rock coffins with an awful-looking ooze. Curiously, they were firmly placed in the niches on some of the walls, Crystal in his hand? No? Oh, he has some coinage in him. Uh, nothing? That was just for story? That's it? These ivy -like ah, away. I need to make this area glow up. So nothing. Nothing in his hands. I thought I was going to put the crystal in his hands. Alright. Well, this proves the existence of otherworldly creatures in this game. Oh, he's got one of those masks, too. He looks more closer to life than the other ones. This guy kind of creeps me out. Not gonna lie. <sighs> I wonder if my character looks like he's yawning when I yawn. Because I think it does the PogChamp type face when I yawn. My eyebrows usually dart downwards as well. I wonder if that actually comes across on my character, that I'm yawning. Not that this game's boring by any stretch, it's not what I'm yawning at all. Just getting late. Bad, but the crystal lead do it. Nice. And where's the thing, my Bob? There it is. Send her up. I guess that's gonna be for the whole entire place now. Oh shit. All the shit's gonna melt. Here we go if all the snow melted too right before me. Oh! Didn't we need that silly? Ooh, constellations. Pretty. 
That's a pretty ceiling. I've noted down the sign. I tried placing the reddish crystal into the still clean tip of an old, of an odd metallic device, and it fitted perfectly. As I rotated the device to its original position using the control handle, the glyph was projected onto the wall. Zikonia. Zoro has been here. A diagram consisting of several symbols. I only see one symbol, for sure. You say several. Huh? That's a symbol. That's cool. Constellations. I wonder if I can spin that around. No? Alright, I'm actually a little relieved that I don't have to like turn it around and remember the symbol for each like wall. But I would assume like there would be a symbol there and there as well. Alright. So Z. Hey, why is that lit up? Hmm. A network of blue lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of a star map. But why does that dot glow in a different color than the others? I found the secret. What's the secret? Ah, uh, game. What's the secret? When the dome of the room was closed as I activated the strange machine, a network of bright lines... Okay, that's exactly what he said, but curiously, one of the dots, what could be the meaning of this? You tell me, man. You tell me. Is that where the sun is? Alright, I'm gonna assume that now that I've done that, that ivy on the other end is gone now. Not quite sure what that symbol is about, unless I need to go back through the crystals and pick another one out. I'm going backwards. Okay, I'm lost now. What the fuck? I took a spin around and now I don't even know where the hell I am anymore. Alright, if that was there, I'm looking for the crystal. I have to go through the rooms. It's gotta be at the end of this tunnel here. Yeah. There we go. My boy sounds like he's a little cold. <sighs> Zoto. <laughs> I'm just wondering if that symbol is amongst one of these. No. Zoro, no. No. That symbol is not amongst these at all. Although that's like Saturn right there. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna have to see if whether or not... The ivy is gone. Oh, something happened. We're on the right path. <laughs> Definitely on the right path. Oh, please don't go into that thing. Worried that spirit's gonna embody that fucking cre character, and then I'm gonna have to start running from it. And it's alive. Yes, it is. Alright, cool. I didn't have to worry. Oh, oh God. What was that all about? A, a vision, perhaps? Oh. I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Oh. Blood? Uh-oh. I've been inhibited. I am possessed. So that dude is actually this dude. Interesting. He was never a dude at all. Alright, so that thing's alive and roaming about now. The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. Wait, I came all the way here to get fucking consumed by thing, by that thing, and nothing more? That's it? I thought I was gonna, you know, open this. 
don't see anything else around, unless I'm supposed to come from the other end. Because there's nothing here that looks like it would light it up, except... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here to light it up. None of those blue crystal things. Alright. Is this new? Huh, I don't remember this being here. Or do I remember? No, I don't remember this being here. The left is exactly the same as the right. It's like a split butt. Alright. Come here, I would let me go here. It's in a sneaky little spot. Can I take this with me? No. Because I could really use you right now. I mean, I would have to... I'm going to take I guess I have to go backwards. Because there's nothing more I can do. Kind of weird that that activated and I couldn't go further. No. Maybe if I could just shine the light to open it up. Mm, nothing seems to be happening there. Okay, that's kind of creepy. One of them's missing. That's even creepier. The fact that one of them is missing. Oh! No! Wait, oh! I see. Except it's still not letting me through. Huh. So now I can carry the crystal with me. That's kind of cool. And unlock all the things that are locked behind stuff. Except... Seems to be having a... Is it actually going over me now? No. I'm not gonna die, right? Okay, there we go. That was weird. I got stuck the first time. Nice. New item. Didn't even think to take it off and walk around with it. Well, there you go. Always something obvious that I missed. Open up, you heathen. Fuck yeah. Oh. Oh, it lost power. Wait, don't close behind me. I had a feeling it was going to close behind me. So I got to do this in a specific amount of time now? Is, is that the dealio? I got to be effing quick. Like, why can't I just charge off this? Do it. Oh, that's literally what you do. Nice, nice. If you think it, it will happen. That's actually fucking cool. I didn't expect that at all. That was neat. Oh, fuck. Alright, cool. Let's just keep this out, I guess. Maybe there's more I'm gonna have to do that with. Yeah, right here. <laughs> cool. Select and draw a line. There's a symbol I'm supposed to recreate, re but that Zoro symbol we saw, I'm pretty sure was like, uh, separated, no? Two of the pieces were separated? Can't possibly be the Zoro symbol though, it doesn't even look like it would connect, no? There's no Z I know of. I'm assuming it's related to the Zoro thing, otherwise, no, I'd have no idea what image I'm supposed to be drawing.
get the whole entire thing there. Yeah, yeah, we got all that little juices yeah, right in the corners too. Fill that up, fill it up, yeah, yeah, make sure there's no, no room, nothing, nothing, nothing there. That would have been awesome if it worked. Like, what? It's gotta be that Zoro symbol that we saw. So I remember being cut up into two other pieces. Well, he did draw it, right? Normally he draws what he's looking at. Let's see if there's anything around here that depicts an image of any sorts. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be running far back. I'm not really a fan of that idea right now. Oh, right. <laughs> fuck's all that rock noise coming from? Ooh, it's a shiny ground. Alright. No. Oh, there's a whole new section called drawings. Nice. And there it is. Ah! Try to place it. Okay, so from top. To, see, like those two on the side. How am I going to draw those, though? Across to the top, down to the middle, all the way to the bottom. Across from the top, down to the middle, all the way to the bottom? No, that doesn't make sense at all. Can't be this drawing at all. That's it. Oh, it wants me to do the rest. I see. So it stays when it's right. Oh. All right, let's take one more look at that drawing. Straight up. I thought I did that. That looks good to me. Okay. Why aren't you staying anymore? <laughs> there we go. Really? Maybe the thickness, okay, I think there's a specific direction that one must go with these for it to work. Because there's a thick end and a thin, thin end. I like that, that's cool. This game does have some cool puzzles in it. It's nice. It's an interesting way to depict it. Uh, thick, like where you start and where you end, by having it thick and short. I like that, that was well done. more there isn't to this game, man. I need to know.
think there's still quite a bit to this game. I might uh, call it here. Continue this game next weekend. Sadly, wanted to finish it today. I might come back tomorrow and finish it, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Yeah, yeah, just starting up. What's going on, guys? Yeah, man, the free soundtrack is incredible. I was talking for a second. I was talking for a second. Don't, don't you dare look at my mouth. I'm all right. I mean, it was a crappy ass last week when my herb went to the wrong province. I got like nothing, uh, don't you dare stare at it. I got like nothing done this week. Just saw my freaking attitude go to shit as I waited for the herb that freaking for some reason went up to the wrong province. Just skipped right over. I was furious. I was like looking up online for the, um, the post office to see if you can get a refund on the postage. Cause I had to pay for, I think, 15 bucks for the postage. But they're like, the rules pissed me off. One, it's like only the sender can get a refund. It's like, what do you mean? What about the person who paid for the fucking package? Only the sender, that's stupid. The second one, oh, uh, they can refuse payment due to acts of God. And this is like on the official Canada Post freaking website. This is their rules. Acts of fucking God. <laughs> Could be an excuse to not fucking refund. It's like, how do you argue that? So, so stupid. So yeah, that was a piss ass part of my week. But it came in like the day right after, which wasn't too bad. <clears throat> I got it done overnight. So I'm in a way better mood now. I am all chillaxed and cool. How about you guys? How was your week? You need Jesus in your heart, yeah. Fucking, I think we need to find a way to abolish religion, period. It's the fucking bane of every corner you turn. How's the game so far? You're live early, it used to be up in two hours. Oh yeah, it's 10 o'clock still, eh? Holy shit, that's right. Because I want to get rid of this game as quick as possible. I think there's only maybe two hours left. And then I can start up another game which looks really kind of cute and cool. Wouldn't mind going into once I start it up. Um, yeah. Uh, but like I said, Herb. Herb is getting me up really up in the morning, man. It's giving me the great night's sleep. I'm in a great mood all over again. Actually, I'm kind of stoned myself right now. Let's just, yeah, get those eyes there. What's the end? Herb's put me right back on pace. Oh, I hope these things don't come to life and chase.